Lily Reese and today's video is completely on the fly because not only was I totally not planning on filming today but I was also never intending or I never intended to share this story with you guys but today we have reached over 21,000 subscribers and uh, my mind is just blown I cannot believe that we've reached over 20,000 subscribers I'm so freaking thankful for every single one of you and this family that we're growing and it's just so unbelievable that we're here already so I know to most youtubers like 20,000 is like pff, nothing to them but to me this is a really big deal so to say thank you I wanted to share this story with you guys so if for some reason you're new to my channel and this is the first video that you are ever seeing of me it would mean a lot if you would also go ahead and click that subscribe button only if you do like my videos I post a ton of videos and I really don't want you guys to miss when I upload so go ahead and do that the reason that I wasn't gonna tell today's story is not that it's not a great story because every time I think of this story every time I tell a friend or a family member this story people get goosebumps it's one of those stories where it's like chilling in a good way but it's not the longest story so I'm happy that I'm doing this as kind of like a thank you to you guys and giving you an extra video this week because otherwise I probably would have never told a story so if you guys want to hear the story of the time that my grandma spoke to an angel and my sister was saved by one then let's just get into this video this story actually begins with my mama and I and I was about four and a half years old when my sister was born um, I'm born in January, my sister is born in June, so I would have just turned four the January before she was born in June. So on this particular day, my mom and I were heading back from the fair, and my mom was pregnant with my sister at the time. To be entirely honest with you guys, I just went to go text my mom to find out exactly how far along she was when this happened, and my phone died. So I'll insert how far along she was right here because by the time I edit this I will have it for you. But um, my mom still had a few months to go in the pregnancy with my sister. It was a beautiful June day, June 19th to be exact, and we were coming home from the fair and my mom and I got into a car accident. And the really interesting thing about this accident that kind of is mind-blowing to me to this day is we got in the accident at a four-way stop and we were right here at the four-way stop. There was an ambulance here, a police officer here, and my sister's dad right there. We couldn't have gotten into an accident. In, an, in any better of a position that we were in. We get into this accident and I'm screaming and crying and my mom seems to be relatively okay. I mean, it was, wasn't was a great accident by any means, but it wasn't like life or death and everyone was all, all fine for the most part. So we get out and we pull over to the side and the ambulance comes and the police officer comes. So right away we had immediate medical attention, which was awesome. And they keep asking me, why are you screaming? Why are you screaming? They think something really, really bad has happened to me. And it turns out that my balloon just popped and I was devastated that my balloon that I had just got at the fair had just popped. So I was totally okay, but as a precaution, because my mom was pregnant and she had a few months to go left in her pregnancy, they took her down to the hospital. So my mom gets to the hospital and she is at the hospital that my sister winds up being born at. And the doctor, I'm actually gonna say her real name because she deserves all the credit in the world for this, Dr. Anna. I uh, was looking at my mom's ultrasound and everything seemed to be a-okay on the ultrasound there was nothing on the ultrasound that seemed out of whack and everyone seemed to be okay and right when they're about to tell my mom she's okay she's all good to go we can leave Dr. Anna looks at that looks at the ultrasound and says oh no oh no we need to have this baby right now this is not good this is not good and it turns out that my mom's placenta, which is what delivers the nutrients to the baby, was dead. She didn't know how long it had been dead. She didn't know what had happened. But all she knew was this baby was going to die if they did not get it out right then and there. So they're in the operating room and my sister's born and I believe her lungs collapsed right away. I mean, she was so small and she was so sick. She was born not not only had the placenta been dead, but my sister was born months earlier than she was supposed to. She was extremely underweight for what a, what a healthy newborn baby should be and extremely premature. So my mom didn't even get the chance to see my sister. She's being hooked up to life support. They're figuring out which hospital they're going to rush her to because this hospital didn't, didn't specialize in premature babies. It wasn't, it wasn't their thing for how sick and how, how life or death the situation with my sister was. 
So my mom didn't even get the chance to hold her baby. She didn't get the chance to see her baby. My sister was rushed out of the room so very quickly. My mom is put into the recovery room and my grandparents are in with her. And my grandma's there and my grandpa's there. And my mom is, is scared. And this nurse, <laughs> this evil, evil nurse, and I mean, I never met her, I was small, I wasn't even at the hospital, but looking back on what she said to my mom, I just think like, what a horrible human being. Um, so my mom had had her tubes tied because uh, ovary problems run in my family, and so after my sister, that was, that was gonna be it for her. And so she had had her tubes tied, and the nurse comes into the room, looks at my mom, this nurse, and says, if I were you, I would have never tied my tubes. You have a very, very sick little baby. And so my mom starts to cry and hyperventilate because she hasn't seen her baby. She just went through being at a carnival affair with her daughter, with her four-year-old daughter, me, to being in an accident, to being rushed to the hospital, to being told that her baby's not getting any nutrients, to having the baby removed and taken away from her and not even having any update on how she's doing. So after they kind of calm down, my grandma's all worked up and she goes outside of the hospital to have a smoke to calm herself down because this entire situation is just very traumatic and she's dealing with her baby, her daughter, who's dealing with the struggles going on with her baby and so my grandma's really, really feeling this situation and she goes outside and she's sitting there and she starts to kind of pray and she's like, God, like this baby needs to be needs to be okay and she says her prayer and if you guys don't believe in God just just a disclaimer here I'm not forcing that on you it's just what she did and I'm I'm being true to my story so don't be offended I'm not here to throw anything on you we're all good and so my grandma is praying to God and all of a sudden these two ladies come and sit next to her and they don't say anything other than they turn to her and say don't cry she's gonna be okay she's been protected and my grandma said, what? And the woman put her hand on her shoulder, smiled, said, God is good, and walked away. And when my grandma processed what had just happened, she went to turn to see these women and they were gone. And so this day, my grandma, I could bring her into this video right now, will swear up and down those were angels because she had just prayed. She was so scared. She was so stressed out. And how did they know that who she was at the hospital for was a she? How did they know that she was fighting for her life and that she was going to be okay? If, if that's a coincidence, guys, that is one of the most needed coincidences ever because it puts so much faith in my grandma and so much faith in my mom when my grandma went upstairs and told her this story. So now we're going to fast forward to the part where the angel saved my sister's life. So my mom ended up, flash forward a few years later, becoming friends with a spiritual advisor. And she, but basically what she is, is she gets messages from her spirit guides and can deliver messages of love and light and, and really help heal people. It's, it's like a psychic, but she, she refers to herself as more of a spiritual advisor. And my mom was friends with her. So she went out to lunch with my mom one day and she hadn't known my mom when my sister was born. She hadn't known my sister was premature or the struggle that we had went through with my sister. And so my mom goes out to lunch with this woman and all of a sudden her eyes start to fill with tears. And my mom's like, what, why are you crying? And she looks at my mom and she says, Julia, your daughter, Julia. And my mom's like, what, is she okay? Like she's not thinking that this is from something years before. And she goes, an angel saved her life. And my mom says, what do you mean? And she tells my mom, when your placenta was dead, there would have been no way for her to survive. So an angel would come down, pull her out of your body, her spirit I'm presuming, feed her all the love and nutrients she needed until her birthday, and put her back in you. If that doesn't just give you the chills, and my mom's like, how does my friend know that like, she's trying to rap, like, recall, like, recollect, like, did I tell her that my, my daughter's placenta was dead? Did I, did I not, did I, did I not? She never had. So I believe this story 10,000%. I wasn't there, well, I was there, I was around, but I wasn't, that when I was four and a half years old, I wasn't there to physically experience these things, but these stories and the way my grandma and my mom tell them, it's like, it's like it's the most wonderful thing they've ever experienced. And it's as though they really felt something very pure. And I can just tell that, that in their hearts, they truly, truly believe that not only did my grandma speak to angels at the hospital, but an angel 
saved my sister. And another crazy thing to really think about for this story is what if we had never got into that accident? My sister probably wouldn't be here. So I think this entire situation and story and birth of my sister is just a miracle. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that story. I wanted to give you guys something spur of the moment, sporadic, to say thank you for over 20,000. I can't believe it. I, I know I'm going on again, guys, but what the heck? Like, I feel like I was just celebrating 10,000 and now we're here and it's like, my mind is blown. Thank you so much, guys, for everything that you send me, everything that you message me, every time that you tweet me or Instagram DM me or even just like comment on my video here. It means the world to me and I appreciate you guys more than you could ever, ever, ever know. So thank you so much. I'm not exaggerating when I say it makes my day. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. If you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Like I said, I post a ton of videos. I don't want you guys to miss when I upload. And please give this video a big thumbs up. Like I always say, it makes my heart super happy when you do that. And I really, really appreciate it. So if you enjoyed it, please do that. Remember, my loves, do all things with kindness. And until next time, love you.